Hey everybody, Blackie here, here again, coming at you with uh, another lesson. Today we are tackling Eeyore. Um, as I said in my previous lesson, if you caught it, um, this is going to be my last lesson on the channel. I'm going to be making a, uh, an announcement video soon, but to all of you who see this before that, I um, just want to let you know, basically, what I'm going to do is have uh, donation-based lessons on the site called um, Buy Me a Coffee. And I thought what I'd do is um, you can either donate to me there and see the content or, you know, if you don't want to, obviously I have these 10 free lessons. Um, but what I want to do with the buy me a coffee money, any money I get from that, I'm going to put back into independent horror novels that I will review or collect depending on um, how that goes. Because if I get novels sent to me, obviously that'd be for free. But I'm going to put back um, the money, like I said, to support indie horror publishers and authors so I feel like it's kind of a win-win for everyone um, you guys can you know support me if you want to and then by doing that you're also supporting indie horror authors and publishers so um, and it's a lot cheaper in the long run than doing a patreon or private lessons for you guys I you know if you really want to I can probably offer some Skype lessons um, but as far as um, the format it's gonna be just like this so um, let's get into Eeyore. Um, my normal tuning spiel, we're in, uh, you know, 440 drop B. On the record, it's a little sharp of that. Um, I recommend playing along to the uh, 9.0 live version. That way you can just be in straight up drop B. Okay, so we are going to get started on this. Um, I got a couple questions on where mix starts. I've seen people do it like down here down here but if you look up um well i mean any live video but especially it's it's very visible in the uh disaster pieces dvd he's just laying his first finger i like to use my middle finger it doesn't really matter what you do but in the video he's using his first finger he just laid over the 15th fret and you're just going to kind of sound those higher strings just real nasty metallic harmonic type of sound and then you're gonna hit the low to uh, sixth and fifth strings on the uh, 15th fret and that's what he does but obviously I covered Jim's part so we're gonna talk about that I just wanted to clear that up for the people who are asking so um, Jim's gonna come in you know he does it differently live a lot of times he'll do his pinch harmonic slides and different slides and stuff but I'm just gonna you know tackle what I did in the cover. So um, I hit a B5 chord and then roll in the volume. So that's just the low two strings. Open and roll in the volume. And then uh, Jim's gonna do... Honestly, that's harder to play slow than it is fast, but um, basically it's just open in the first fret. speed all right and then it's gonna go into the first chord progression which is pretty much most of the song but um, it's gonna it's gonna be seven uh, these are all power chords and low two strings seven to three to two and the strumming pattern is gonna be like this Gonna do a stab on the seventh fret and then a uh, mix gonna do that same thing but single notes and then um sometimes jim will do the fifth harmony like he likes to do a lot he likes to do the harmonic or not harmonics the uh, octaves a lot but in this case it's just a single note it's gonna be seven three two just on the fifth string so slow all right and then you're gonna do that same thing, tremolo picked, but on the sixth string. All right, and that's gonna repeat until you're gonna do a stab on the open strings, uh, bottom two strings. And uh, then that's gonna go into, you know, the infamous down picking riff. Um, 
you know, some people will freak out over this one. If you can't do it down picked, no one's gonna knock at your door and, you know, steal all your guitars away from you and your picks and your wrist. But, uh, you know, if you want to play it like they do a lot, um, it helps to build up your right hand. And uh, um, those guys definitely come from a lot of, like, thrash and death metal <clears throat> influence stuff. So um, I'm a big thrash fan, so the downpicking stuff is always a necessity for metal, in my opinion. But, again, if you... You know, it's okay. But the way to play it is this. Three times total, and then... So it's going to be... Open. Alright, so up to speed. Alright, let me do that slow. It, again, these words are kind of hard to <laughs> explain slow, but um, I'll just play it slow, the whole thing. Okay, one more time. The next part is going to be tremolo picking. It's going to be this. All that is is uh, three on the six string, uh, five on the fifth string, three on the fifth string, and then four on the fourth string. All right. That's what's going to end the phrase. So I'll play all of that slow. Jim actually comes in on that, but again, I'm just showing you, you know, the parts you have to listen for where they come in. But um, and then it's gonna do the same thing. It's just gonna open up instead of the the chug. It's just gonna be. All right, so that slow. And then the end, it's gonna go back to the seven. That um, phrase a couple times, and then it goes back to what you played in the beginning, the open to one to open. Then a step on the uh, low two strings, and that's it. Um, so most of it's not that complicated, except for that, you know, the um that down picking riff is you know probably one of their most difficult in their discography at least from the stuff that i've learned so far um all right yeah that's it um really short song obviously thank you guys for watching again um you'll be able to see my new lessons on my buying a coffee page so if you uh you know like my stuff it'd be cool if you could support me there and um yeah i will see you soon i will do my first lesson on that will be prelude 3.0 see you guys soon